Samsung has the largest share in the Android ecosystem with their name synonymous to Android for consumers. And this year has been no different with their Galaxy S7, S7 Edge Duo. While acting as meager refinements from the previous generations, the company has done well to address flaws, but another company which has done the same thing is OnePlus. Only in business for about four years, the startup company from China now looks to take the market by storm with their latest smartphone, the OnePlus 3. How well does it go head to head against Android's best? I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja, and let's find out. Tech that you're gonna break the mold, brand state control, scope's broad and the case is closed. Real talk with a hell of a red, every word is unfilled and genuine dread. While both smartphones take different approaches to design, they remain comfortable in the hand. The all-glass enclosure of the S7 Duo may be prone to damage in fingerprints over the all-metal build of the OnePlus 3, but this can be easily fixed with a D-brand skin or case. And it comes down to personal preference. I prefer to have a D-brand skin. Hit the links down below for more information. Both fronts have standard Android-esque navigation buttons with the home button doubling as fingerprint scanners, which performs neck and neck. The OnePlus 3 isn't really a button, but more so a sensor, and the S7 has that classic Samsung home button that's really clicky. Volume buttons too are found in convenient locations, but the OnePlus 3 is 0.4 millimeters thinner than the S7. The camera hump is much more pronounced on the OnePlus 3, making it overall a thicker device. Now what I like about the OnePlus 3 is that it has this extra alert slider on the side, which makes notification controls very easy. Now the differences diminish when it comes to specifications. Both phones are powered by Snapdragon 820 chipset and the Andrino 530 GPU, with the OnePlus 3 having an added two gigabytes boost, giving you six gigabytes of RAM altogether. The screen too remained identical at 5.5 AMO LED panels protected by a Gorilla Glass 4, but the S7 edges out See what I did there? Not only because of its 1440p panel, which is 534 ppi, over the OnePlus 3's 1080p display panel, which is 401 ppi, but when it comes to maximum brightness, there is no match for Samsung's panel when it comes to brightness on the S7, and it's very, very evident here. As far as performance is concerned, both smartphones handle tasks very well. There is much discussion about RAM management on the OnePlus, but it's not as pronounced as people state. You will run into it from time to time when going back into a game you haven't had open for a few minutes. Although the S7 will launch the game, the OnePlus does force the game to redraw. Even though they both have Android 6.0 and they both are in skins. Now, the OnePlus is rocking the much lighter Oxygen OS and the S7 Edge uses the TouchWiz. Now, even though TouchWiz is a lot heavier, the S7 manages just to run a little bit better. There is no doubt that multimedia consumption visually would favor the S7 Edge due to its superior display, but its IPS68 certification results in poor audio playback compared to the OnePlus 3. Let's discuss the camera, and no shock here, Samsung takes the cake. Despite having a 16 megapixel camera with an f2.0 aperture over Samsung's 12 megapixel unit with an f1.8 aperture, to me it looks great in well lit scenarios but it does lack detail in lower light, like seen here. Samsung is the king of cameras and this continues. The dual pixel technology implemented for autofocus results in faster and a more responsive camera. While both smartphones are capable of capturing 4K video, the S7 Edge contains more dynamic range over the OnePlus 3s. The front facing camera on the OnePlus 3 at 8 megapixels is really good and it performs extremely well producing great details and vastly superior images than the 5 megapixel on the S7 at the expense of a less wide lens. But the OnePlus 3, in my opinion, the front facing camera is just a bit sharper. But none of this really matters if battery life doesn't hold up. The superior 3500 milliamp battery on the S7 Edge is enough to last a day with ease, giving you around 5 to 6 hours of screen on time despite delivering more pixels. The OnePlus 3's 3000 milliamp battery on the other hand holds around 4 hours of screen on time with most usage. 
Now, both of these devices are using fast charging technology. Samsung is using Snapdragon's uh, Quick Charge 3.0, while the OnePlus 3 is utilizing a slightly faster dash charge technology using the USB-C 2.0 port. Unfortunately, Samsung does eke out when it comes to charging just because it gives you the option for wireless charging. OnePlus offering is 100% metal, which doesn't allow for wireless charging. Look guys, both smartphones running Android, this really makes it for a fair comparison. And it's really surprising to see that OnePlus 3 can compete very well with the Galaxy S7 Edge, despite being half its price. Retailing for 400 bucks, the 64 gigabyte OnePlus 3 makes for a very good option for most people. But it doesn't come with a micro SD card slot expansion like the S7 Edge does. And disregarding slightly superior performance and specific edge-like features, the S7 Edge, in my opinion, is matched, if not surpassed for some people. But does this make OnePlus 3 a true flagship killer? Only time will tell with this device. But regardless, OnePlus 3 is a great phone. And if you're in the market right now for an unlocked phone, the OnePlus 3 might be the best one yet.